This is Witchbase News for Friday the 21st of February 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... The community and FDEV on no Galnet, The Frontier 24 hour livestream... Hutton's hot mess... And that orange phoenix video. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Regular viewers to this here journal will know that our lead story last week was the void left by the expiration in game of the last Galnet news post after a month of no updates on the service. The issue was widely reported across the elitosphere including on our favourite Elite Dangerous podcast Loose Screws whose new dedicated domain you'll find linked below by the way. Following the podcast last week co-host of the show Commander Kai Zen posted an open letter to the Elite Dangerous forums lamenting the demise of Galnet and echoing what a large portion of the community was feeling. The letter is an abject lesson by the way in how to respectfully express constructive criticism on a public forum and is more than worth a read just for that very fact. It's so well written in fact that Frontier themselves commented on how well written it was on the weekly lunchtime Let's Play livestream as well as saying that an official response would be coming. As you'd expect the post became a thread of commanders echoing feelings in a similar vein to those expressed in the letter itself attracting commentary from community notables such as Alec Turner, Drew Wager and Commander Wotherspoon to name but a few. Community manager Stephen Benedetti responded to the letter stating that the writing team at Frontier whilst undoubtedly talented is also quite small and their entire focus is currently on the fleet carrier and 2020 updates and the writing required for those two releases. Other writing work such as Galnet has had to be given a lower priority and essentially put on the back burner until those tasks are completed. Whilst Frontier hasn't been specific about the when or indeed the if of Galnet's return the sensible guess is that if it returns the soonest that is going to happen is likely to be the launch of carriers around the middle of this year. Whilst this is undoubtedly uncomfortable news for everyone concerned Anyone who has worked in a large corporate environment that deals in huge multi month and multi year projects will know that at the start resources are allocated and budgeted for, plans are laid and then the ship sets sail with everyone knowing where it's heading. Once the ship has sailed it's then extremely difficult and honestly unadvisable to try and change the course of that ship. Undoubtedly the events of the last year have pointed to the fact that Elite Dangerous has already had to change course and alter its plans at least once in recent history and it's understandable that Frontier would be reticent at this relatively late stage of what is assuredly a huge project to throw even the smallest ripple in its path. As painful as that might be. Our gut feeling here at the pit is that Galnet will absolutely return and I think Frontier are fully aware of its importance in a game like Elite for new and old players alike. By the time this video is released on Friday the 21st of February Frontier will already be well into its 2020 Game Blast 24 hour livestream on Twitch in aid of the extraordinary gamers charity Special Effect. If you're unaware Special Effect specialises in making bespoke controllers and equipment that are tailored to an individual's needs to enable those people to enjoy video games. Their work is nothing short of extraordinary and when you see the many videos of the people that Special Effect has helped you simply run out of superlatives to describe what they do. Frontier has a target of £30,000 to hit and all the communities from all of Frontiers titles will be involved in the effort and the Elite Dangerous community is one of the most generous and giving communities in the history of gaming. Let's help them smash that target and in doing so help enable Special Effect to carry on doing the staggering work that they do. The 24 hour live streams from Frontier are always awash with great events, fun games and shenanigans aplenty. This year will be no exception. Make sure you stop by and say hi.
the Hutton Orbital Truckers initiative to deliver a Hutton Orbital mug to every single commodity market in the galaxy known as Operation Hot Mess passed through 50% of its goal this week. To put some perspective on that there are 55,235 commodity markets in the galaxy. If you want to help ensure that every possible station in the galaxy has at least one Hutton mug then head over to the link in the description below to get started. And finally Commander Orange Phoenix of Sagittarius I and SPVFA fame posted a video yesterday called Why We Fly. Touching on a subject close to many commanders hearts Why We Fly is destined to become a benchmark moment in the cultural history of this community. It is simply beautiful. Do take the time to watch it. For more details on anything we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click on the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.